I get like really thirsty as soon as I put on lipstick. Is that a thing other people experience? Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. We are back here in my cozy desk space. Hi. And today I'm going to be trying on a bunch of wigs because you guys seem to really enjoy wig videos. And I mean, that makes sense. It's a cosplay channel. Cosplayers wear wigs. That's a thing. I'm tired. The store in question that these wigs are from is the same one that I got uh, this wig from. It is Any Beauty. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It is the same store that gave me this wig and this is probably my absolute like favorite wig that I own. I love this wig. Two pieces. That said, I was really excited at the opportunity to try some more of their wigs. Definitely like a store that I'm really happy with and so I'm going to be reviewing some more stuff from them. Eloquent. I am eloquent today. Usual disclaimer, even though these wigs were given to me free of charge for the purpose of doing this video for you guys, I'm always going to be completely honest with how I feel about a given product or service. They sent me this whole goodie bag full of wigs and we're just going to rapid fire, try them all out. And yeah, I'm really excited because like I said, I love this wig so much. So this wig is going to be kind of like the standard that I'm going to be judging all of these wigs by. We're going to see if it like meets the standard of this particular wig. One thing that I learned about this store, um, as you guys will have seen in my last review of them is that their Lolita wigs are this kind of quality. They have like this matte finish with their fibers and like really, really nice quality and photograph really well. But the cosplay wigs tend to be on the shinier side. So that's gonna be something that I'm gonna be looking at for. Let me just see how many there are. There's, oh gosh, that just fell out of the bag. No, pretend that didn't happen. Okay, we have five wigs that we're gonna be trying on. Let's do it. First one, here we go. All right, so we have wig number one, which is this long gray wig. I actually got this one with the intention of using it as a new Sophie wig, because I wasn't super happy with the wig that I used last time. Not sure if it's too dark for her, um, but overall, it is very thick, it is very cute, and it has a really nice fake scalp up here, just like the other wig has. That's something that all of their wigs seem to have, and I really, really like that. Um, in terms of the shininess, though, it is a bit on the shiny side. It's not like horrendously shiny, I would say, but it doesn't have the same matte quality that the other one has which is kind of unfortunate but it is nice it fits pretty well the wig cap is a little bit on the smaller side but definitely a usable wig I don't know like Sophie's hair color is kind of like I don't know I was looking at references and I couldn't pinpoint whether this color would work or not but it is very cute this is like horrendously cute I love it and it is very thick you get a nice number of fibers I kind of want to like put this in pigtails this would be like a really cute Judy Hopps wig if you want to do a long hair version of her you could put it in pigtails or something I really like it I like the like curls on the end that's nice it's nice overall nice I like it let's move on to wig number two <laughs> This is so nice. I love it. I love how these fibers look. Oh my goodness. This is what I am talking about. This hair has such a natural shine to it. It looks so good. The color is fantastic. The style is adorable. The only slight complaint that I have is that it's a little bit thin around where the bangs are. So you can see some of the netting underneath, which is kind of unfortunate. But like aside from that, I love this. I totally want to film in this. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. This is what I'm talking about. Look how natural that hair looks. Ugh. I feel adorable. Let's go on to wig number three. <laughs> so this makeup does not go with this wig at all, as you can see. Also, my hair is like not very well pinned up. This wig does not really do as good of a job of like taming my hair and like concealing my hair just because it is so short, unfortunately. But I really wanted to try one of their boy style cosplay wigs because I saw that they had some and I was like, heck yeah. I think it's a little bit too short for me just because I have so much hair underneath. Maybe if I like pin my hair differently, I might be able to fit on better. But I really love how the fibers look. Again, the fibers hold up quite well under the light. You can totally see my hair underneath. Oh my gosh. I think for me, I need it to be longer. But if you have short hair, then this is totally going to work for you. I'll give it another shot, maybe like pinning up my hair a little bit differently. But yeah, in terms of like the quality though, the hair that is there, you get a lot of it. It is nice and thick, I think. And it really like holds up under the light nicely. I really love the quality of the fibers here. If you have long hair like me, or if you have a bigger head, it's going to be challenging to put on as you can see. But if you have nice short hair and like putting on wigs is super easy for you, uh, this will do just fine. Let's go on to wig number four. All right, 
So I don't really know how to feel about this one. This already has been such an adventure. I put this wig on and I was like, what did I get myself into? Definitely looks a lot different from the picture. And I mean, it is a much better length for me than the previous one. I don't know how I feel. Um, it's super shiny. Definitely like the quality of the fibers better on the previous wig. Yeah, the, the fibers definitely feel a lot cheaper and a lot like, you know, they're a lot shinier than, than the last one. Um, that said, we will move on to our last wig, which is gonna be wig number five. Wig number five, let's go. Well, this is certainly different. This is certainly a look. One thing that's really interesting about this wig, it has like two little wig clips on the front, which is very unusual for a wig like this. In lace fronts, they typically have like French cones, but this has two like little wig clips up here, which is nice. Definitely a nice addition. It's very cute. It is very much on the shiny side though. Definitely towards the front is very shiny, but like on this side and this side, it doesn't look too bad. And definitely when I'm not in direct lighting, it will look a lot better. But I do wish that it had like the same matte finish as the brown wig and then the blonde wig that I usually have because like, I know they have wigs that look like that and I really like that matte finish. But yeah, I mean, overall, it's not too bad. It's kind of like reminiscent of, of Garnet's cotton candy hair a little bit. We did a lot of different looks today. We did a lot of different looks. And it certainly was an adventure. Overall, what you get really kind of varies. The wigs that are good are like really good. But then there are ones like the black wig where, you know, it was quite a bit weaker, quite a bit cheaper and really didn't look like the picture, which is very unfortunate. It is kind of hit or miss what you get, which is unfortunate. I hope you guys enjoyed this little like wig try on adventure with me. I do also have a discount code. If you use the code Anya Panda, you can get 10% off. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me. I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.